Hey there and welcome to No Recipe Required. My name's Dave and today I want to talk about carnitas. Now uh, up until a few weeks ago I had never made carnitas. It, uh, it's a taco filling, pork, that is kind of slow braised and uh, then fried up, crisped up at the end. It's got an awesome texture and an awesome flavor. I've usually only had it, you know, taco trucks, taco uh, taquerias, but I figured, hey, why make it? I've done a couple versions. I think I've got a, uh, a good one uh, finally put together. Ah, forget it, a great one put together. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started with our carnitas. So here I've got some, uh, some pork. These are country style pork ribs. You can do this recipe with a couple different uh, cuts. You can use Boston butt, uh, pork shoulder, it's all, um, it's all meat though that is kind of high in fat, high in connective tissue and can stand up to this long cooking process. Speaking of cooking process, we're going to use a slow cooker here to, um, to essentially braise the meat. Super easy to do because you can fire it and forget it. I've got, in addition to our pork, the juice of one orange, which I like to um, put in for its nice kind of floral flavor. I've also actually got the peel off that orange. I just used you know, a regular potato peeler and uh, took that peel off. I like to keep it whole so that the uh, zest is pretty easy to fish out, or at least in you know, fairly large pieces like that. I've got a full onion that I've chopped up and three or four large garlic cloves in there as well. I'm gonna throw in about a tablespoon of peppercorns. You can see how carefully we need to measure, i.e. not at all. I've got some oregano that I'm going to pour in there. I'm going to get some bay leaf. I'll go with one bay leaf. I just add two bay leaves. I just like kind of bay leaves, the, um, the fragrance it gives uh, dishes like this. And then I'm also going to hit it uh, with a little cumin. Once I find my cumin, we'll come back and do that off camera. I'm going to just pour a little bit of chicken stock in there, one can, just to keep the um, kind of the moisture up. And uh, really, this is it. I've kind of got my slow cooker set for about four hours. It's probably going to take about all that time. Um, and I'm going to cover it up and forget about it. Okay, so four hours goes by quickly. That's how long it's been um, in my slow cooker. And my pork, I just go in with a fork. It is super, super tender. So what I'm going to do, you could just pull this off and, uh, and serve it up as is. But, or not serve it up as is. I pull it out, you know, shred it, um, and serve it up as uh, carnitas right there. But what I'm going to do is pull it out and actually just uh, let it cool for a minute or so until we can break it up. And then we're going to um, throw it in the oven and get some crispy edges on it before we, uh, before we make our tacos. We'll come back and show you how to do that. Here's my pork that I just uh, you know, pulled out of, the, out of the slow cooker and I've let it cool literally for just like five minutes or so and like I said there's no reason why you can't just shred the meat like this and um, go ahead and serve that up as delicious taco meat or uh, carnitas meat. You do want to make sure you salt it if you, uh, if you do that because remember we didn't put any salt in the, um, in the slow cooker. However, what I like to do is actually take these pieces and throw them into a super hot oven. Just kind of, you know, pull them apart into bite-sized pieces. You don't even, you know, need a knife. And then um, take them all and throw them into a, um, into a mixing bowl like this. Throw just a little bit of oil on them to help crisp everything up in the um, in the oven. Throw some salt on them because again we need a little bit of salt to bring out the flavors and then throw them on a little baking sheet like this um, and into a you know hot like 450 degree oven or so and just let the edges get nicely cooked off and a little bit crispy and that is going to be the perfect uh, carnita. Okay, so I think I said put them under the, in the oven. I didn't mean on the oven, I meant under the broiler on a nice high heat. And um, the tops will get uh, kind of nice and crispy. That little fat there will uh, render off a little bit and give, um, give the meat a nice little, uh, nice little crunch to it, nice texture. 
Meat's done. Let's go ahead and serve up our carnitas tacos. Okay, so I heated up my little corn cor corn tortillas here. I want to lay some of the carnitas meat right down the middle. And like I said, at any time you can um, kind of shred this meat up if you want to. It is, um, you know, super, super fork tender and easy to do. I prefer mine just a little chunky. We're going to add a little bit of salsa to my guys here. Maybe a, uh, an avocado, a piece of avocado. Do, do, do. Some cheese. I'm using a Mexican cotija cheese, but you can use kind of whatever you want. And then maybe just a touch of cilantro. And then we've got these beautiful carnitas tacos. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.